What's up, Daniel High School? I'm Ramsey McTee, and I'm here with Peter Cody. We've got a lot for you guys today, so let's start out with a D60 interview by Devin Woodson. Uh, my name is Devin Woodson. So I just recently played in the USA International Bowl in Texas at Dallas Cowboys Stadium. Uh, it's just it's been a really interesting experience. I didn't really know that 64 countries around the world play American football, and the chance to get to meet people from Spain, Denmark, and uh, Austria was pretty cool. And to find out that they can play football just as good as we do here was a pretty cool experience. Over the summer, I entered a camp that was called the USA National Development Camp, and from that camp, I got selected to the National Development Games in Texas at College Station and then from there got selected for the International Bowl. Well it was huge <laughs> um, but uh, it wasn't it wasn't too much different than playing on a regular high school football field but looking up at the big jumbo tribe kind of made it really cool to, and when you're on the sideline and watching replays of the play before so uh, it's an honor to get to wear USA across my chest and say that I played for the United States football team it's a big honor. Um, I had the, also had the honor of being the flag bearer for the national anthem, which is pretty cool. So, Congrats, Devin, for making it to the USA football team. Yeah, Ramsey, do you hear that music? I do. Mm, that's got me feeling a little jazzy. I bet it's the jazz band down the hall. Oh yeah, I hear they're pretty good. Let's tune it over to Peyton and check it out. If you've ever found yourself going down the fine arts wing during a day second period, you may have heard a groovy beat popping brass, and rocking solos. What's going on in there, you might think, looking at the band room? Well, what you're hearing is the Daniel High School Jazz Band. For years, the Daniel Jazz Band has been the top standard in this area for school jazz bands. Playing a variety of jazz, swing, funk, and even rock, they really know how to get a crowd going. But this isn't your everyday band, and there's a lot to know about the jazz band and the great musicians in it. Jazz band is, is different from normal concert band in a couple different ways. The first way is here at Daniel High School, our jazz band is made up of students that are the best musicians of the program. They actually audition in the spring prior to the fall, and those are the only students who get the class. I kept coming back to jazz band as a senior because um, I mean, jazz band is just really unique, and there aren't a lot of things where you can just be as creative as you get to be in jazz, and so that creativity is uh, really unique. That's what kept me coming back. I keep coming back because because of the music mostly and the um, other people who share the same passion. It's fun to get to practice with other people my age. The jazz band is pretty pretty cool because it's a smaller group of people, so you've only got 20 or 22 people in a big band, and it's much easier to get that group of people out in the community and to perform for as many different people as you possibly can. Just a couple of weeks ago, we performed over at uh, Clemson Downs. I think it's really fun to play for the older people because um, there's like a sense of nostalgia when they hear the old songs that they used to hear like when they were young and in their prime and um, it just brings back a sense of nostalgia. Oh, my favorite memory from jazz band is probably Allstate Jazz Band when um, there's a song called Sandu by Clifford Brown that's like a standard um, that I kind of learned how to play and I was just playing it when I was warming up at Allstate Jazz and then a few other people just started playing it with me like they knew it and we just had a jam on it. And, that's how jazz is, like, everybody knows the tunes and then everybody can play them. That's probably my favorite memory. Dang, that's got me feeling pretty jazzy. But you know, they're not the only one getting in their groove. That's right, winter sports just ended as spring sports are coming up. Let's check it out with a quick preview. The Daniel Lions varsity girls basketball team finished the regular season with a three-game winning streak by defeating the Bobcats 64-52. Under the seniors Taylor Hunter, Miranda Parham, Chandrea Young, and Karina Oglesby, the Lady Lions had a record of 12-13. The varsity boys basketball team finished the season with a record of 12-12, battling to the end with a close 72-71 loss to their rival Seneca Bobcats. Senior leaders Kyle Cody and Zach Henderson averaged a combined 20 points and 2 assists per game, and sophomore lead scorer AJ Oliver added 22 points per game. I'm Charlie Metcalf, sophomore, number 4. 
I'm Christian Kane, senior, from here. Our expectations for this year is to uh, make the playoffs and just have a better season than we did last year. I like playing infield. It's my favorite thing. Uh, I like to hit, but um, infield's my specialty and it's what I love best. Yeah, I like, probably my favorite thing about baseball is probably, probably throwing people out. It's definitely my favorite part. My favorite memory so far probably is uh, on my, I think it was my sophomore year. We were playing Rand and uh, we were getting killed. And then out of nowhere, I was up there to hit and I hit a home run. It was pretty powerful. Uh, Christian Kane is Superman. Charlie Metcalf is OBB, baby boy. Congrats to the seniors for beating the sophomores in the 2015 Buff Puff Championship. Congrats to the seniors for being the 2015 Buff Puff Champions. Sorry, Peter. Yeah, it's okay. But you gotta admit, those Instagram pictures are pretty great. Yeah, they followed all the Instagram rules. Instagram rules? Yeah, did you not hear about that? Let's check it out. Instagram is not just an app, it's a way of life. It's the only way to make your relationship truly official, showcase your athletic ability, shout out to your job moment, and let your peers know you're hashtag college bound. Also, it's a way to look into others past without being too creepy. If you're not already on Instagram and need some help getting started, here's some Instagram insight from your fellow peers. One major thing you need to know about Instagram is you need to get the unfollowing app. So when somebody unfollows you, you automatically unfollow them back. Only follow famous people like the Kardashians. Always have more followers than following. On Insta, my following ratio is 1 to 7, so for every 7 people that follow me, I only follow 1. Something else you should do when you're on Instagram is like your own pictures. Like, what's the point of posting a picture if you're not going to like it? Oh, I like sunset pictures. This is where I find my peace, and it's fun. Definitely don't post sunset pics. This sunset picture, I got 327 likes. They're not original. Hashtag beautiful sunset pictures. Hashtag no sunset pics. <laughs> okay guys, it's okay to use hashtags, but don't use too many. It looks like you're trying too hard. Don't buy followers, cause that's, that's just desperate. <laughs> don't do it. Don't use filters, cause they're just not good. Hashtag no filter. Um, never post two pictures in a day. I don't do it. When I uh, edit my pictures, I send them to Ramsey, and you know she uh, edits them up, makes them look really nice, and then sends them right back. That's when I know it's good to go, and I post it. My two go-to filters are probably that HDR, and then you pull up the sharpness on the Avery. Um, for the action photos, you gotta do the HDR, make it look really tight, and then the um, sharpness just looks you. Is Lofi not Kelvin? It is acceptable to use Bay if y'all have been dating for more than three months. If you've been dating for a week, do not use the term Bay. I'll unfollow you. You can use friendships as Bay. I actually prefer that more. Um, also, you should never make your location really a location. It should either be emojis or something about the picture. You never want to say where you are. Some go to captions are chilling with Bay, day with Bay. Loving on Bay. Chilling with Bay. Bay forever. Eat day in the Bay with Bay. Summer with Bay. Sitting on the hay with Bay. Winter with Bay. Uh, bay is Bay. Spring with Bay. <laughs> Probably tag for like, what would life be without Bay? It's no caption necessary. The Bay. Selfie time. Don't stop believing. <laughs> Um, whenever you say happy birthday to somebody, their response should always be, I'm so thankful for your friendship. Instagram happy hour is definitely from like, I would say 8.46 to like 9.47 maybe. You want to post like at night. You don't, you never want to post in the morning just because you won't get a lot of likes. Uh, for me, best time to post a picture is right when you get out of school because 
everybody's getting out of school, but you have to you have to remember that other districts get out at different times, so you got to post around that time. Dang, that's a lot of things I didn't know about Instagram. Yeah, me too. I learned a lot of new tips. Yeah, me gusta Instagram. Me too. Si, sí, señorita. Wait, why are we speaking Spanish? I guess it's because Spanish clubs have been running around the halls. They've got me speaking it too. Let's check them out. I'm Hunter Aber. I'm a junior. My name is Elizabeth Campbell, and I'm in 10th grade. My name is Justina Ortega, and I am in 9th grade. I'm Sophia Cabrera, and I'm in 9th grade. I joined the Spanish club because I enjoy Spanish, I like Miss Baber, and I wanted to be in more clubs this year. Favorite part is I get to build up on my Spanish that I already know. I decided to join Spanish club because of the fun activities we got to do, and we got to learn more and work as a team. I think knowing Spanish will help you to meet more people, maybe like job opportunities and stuff. I guess like being a translator would work for me because I know Spanish and English. The Spanish I learn at home is a little more slang, a little more laid back. Hey, um, my favorite part of Spanish club is going to ponchos. I enjoy going to ponchos to eat. <laughs> I like our meetings at ponchos. I think that's like the funnest thing ever. Well, we get to go to ponchos and we get to eat. My favorite thing to say in Spanish is Hola. <laughs> Muy bien. <laughs> my favorite thing to say in Spanish is probably Ramsey es mi vato. Nadie entiende lo que estoy diciendo ahorita. Muy bien. I wish I was in Spanish so I could go to ponchos. Yeah, me too. So Peter, you can take me to prom? I would if I could. Sophomore props. Yeah, but for all those people that are going, it's going to be awesome. And we've got a great preview for y'all. Let's check it out. Oh, pass, pass. Oh. Oh, cash. Whoop. I don't know how to shoot, bro. Uh, over that. Guys, we can go to prom this year. Yeah. yeah. I wonder what it's going to be like. T-Dub Records. Hancock, Uno, Deuce, and C-U-E.
Dang, I can't wait till next year. Yeah, me too. We have one quick announcement for y'all. Congratulations to Dylan Perry for qualifying for state wrestling. And that's all we have for y'all today. Stay classy, D-Dub.